What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Drunk Fish Keeping. <sighs> that is refreshing. So, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon here. We got wind and rain. Um, hurricane's on the way in, but don't know uh, what we're going to get when it gets here. Probably some pretty gnarly wind and whatnot. I um, want to give you guys a quick shout out of the tank. Like I talked about last night, did water changes, uh, went over the bubblers power heads, things like that, how to kind of keep your tank going, uh, you know, frozen water bottle stuff like that to keep the water cooled off, the temperature spikes, um, yeah, just general stuff like that. Did a water change on the Nano, and the lights are on it so you guys can get a good look at it. Uh, I'm actually probably going to end up re-scaping this thing because I'm starting to get annoyed with this aquascape and I think I'm going to try something different. but. I figured you guys would like to see the tank and see how everything looks. Hopefully, if we lose power, it won't be for long, but um, you can see the turbine area is out nice. Um, got my ac Acro, Acan's doing good. Um, I'm having some issues with coral, which I'm gonna do a video on that shortly, um, next couple days. Like for example, my leptos, you know, they're not looking hot. Uh, Duncan's not looking hot. Just several pieces in general that aren't looking as good as they could, so. You know, anyway, we'll get on that at some point. But I thought you guys like to have a good, you know, view of the tank. And, uh, you know, questions, comments, you guys got any more questions about how to prep tanks for power outages, you know, let me know. But. Again, this is Adventures in Drunk Fish Keeping, signing out.